in case you haven't noticed, there are a lot of things not to like about the world. There's a lot of upsetting stuff out there in a lot of ways that we can say the world is not the way we want it to be or the way God wants it to be. So what do we do about that? Well, St. Paul gives us some good advice in our first reading today to the Colossians, and it's maybe not what you would expect. You want to make radical global change? You want to make a big impact? Here's what St. Paul says. He says, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love. That is the bond of perfection. Seriously, Paul, in the face of everything that's going wrong with the world, all the injustice, all the inequality, all the immorality, your answer is kindness, humility, gentleness. Come on, is that really going to make a difference? Well, the answer is yes. And that's really the kind of the, the secret of the Christian message. Reminds me of some uh, commercials that I've, I've seen. They do a great job of marketing products. I, you know, I saw a commercial once for Coke where everything's a mess. Everybody's upset. And one person like starts drinking a Coke or something and they get happy. And then, well, they buy a Coke for someone else and they get happy. And it just kind of spreads. And of course, by the end of the Coke commercial, everybody's dancing and everybody's happy again. Or there's these, uh, you can Google kindness boomerang where it shows like one person starts doing one good thing for another and they just kind of pass it around and it eventually comes back around. And one little act of kindness just leads to another and to another and to another. And, and pretty soon, the, the world really is, well, a little bit better. It's a little more kind, a little more humble, a little more gentle. And it all starts with, well, one person deciding, this is going to be my response to all the stuff I see going wrong in the world. What can I really do to fix that? Well, Paul gives us the answer. Kindness, gentleness, humility, patience, bear with one another. All those people that are making you mad, well, forgive them. As Jesus offers us in the gospel today, that incredibly challenging Christian message of turn the other cheek. Seriously, Jesus, in the face of injustice and all this wrong, you want us to just turn the other cheek? Well, here's the deal. It's not, it's not just turn the other cheek. It's not tolerate evil for evil's sake. It's not do nothing. That's where society gets this very wrong. To return kindness in the face of hatred, to turn the other cheek in the face of violence against your person. This is not small stuff. This is not doing nothing. This is doing something. This responding to violence by ending the cycle, ending the continuance of the, the downward spiral by putting a little bit of positive. Well, you might just start a chain like that Coke commercial. And more importantly, you might put an end to a chain that leads down and down and down to more and more fighting. You know, today we celebrate the feast of one of the great patrons of the Americas, that is St. Peter Claver. He uh, had a special ministry to the slaves in Colombia. And here's someone who spent his, his whole life in a place where the slave trade was deeply entrenched. You talk about facing injustice every day. That was Peter Claver. What did he do in, in the face of, a, you know, the slave trade had been going on 100 years by the time he even got to Colombia? Was he going to fix it himself? Yeah, maybe not overnight, but what did he do? cared for, for one enslaved African at a time, took care of them, did what Jesus would do, witnessed to their goodness, their dignity. And eventually, it had a difference. I think of the, the nonviolence of Martin Luther King. Look at, look at what he did. Did he form armies, radical you know rallies of, of militants, burning things down, setting things on fire? No. He put dignity little bits of witness to truth to a society had gone towards lies. Did that make a difference? You bet it did. Was that doing nothing? Hardly. Inaugurated the entire civil rights movement that eventually led to the end of the separation that we had in this country in the 1960s. The great lesson of Christianity is that you do these small, controversial things. It is fighting back. And as we hear a little bit of leaven, leaven's the whole batch of dough. That's what we got to do. Or to sum it up in the words of St. John of the Cross, where there is no love, put love and you will get love. So try doing that today. You upset with the world? Well, do some little things, 
start your own Coke commercial. Where there is no love, put love. You might just be surprised to see what a big difference you can make to turn the whole world towards love. God bless you.